I'm Miss Eunice and I teach GCC Sociology and I'm here to tell you about the course. It's a very fascinating subject and there's lots of different questions that you will be asking and also answering. Uh, some of the key things that you might want to think about are uh, as follows. So in the subject you will learn about why people commit crime, um, why do the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. You will also be questioning how your social class, age, gender and ethnicity affect your life chances. Why do we have inequality in society and how does that affect your life chances? And most importantly, how do you see the world? And the fascinating thing about this subject is that the theories that you will learn about and the evidence that you will pick up on will also shape your perception of the world around you as well. In sociology, you will be sitting at two papers at the end of year 11. Component one is uh, the paper in which you will be learning about some of the key concepts and processes of culture and how that influences your identity. You will also be learning about the fascinating topic of families and households and there will be lots of chances for you to do your own research involving your own families as well um, to find out about how that influences your upbringing. We will learn about the sociology of education and sociological research methods too. In paper two, that's in year 11, you'll be learning about the really interesting topic of crime and deviance, why crime exists in society, um, and how we can understand that by looking at social class, age, gender, and ethnicity. You'll also be learning about the topic of inequality, and you'll be applying your understanding of methods that you learn in year 10 to um, different topics and different areas in year 11. So in terms of how you're being assessed, you will have a range of different types of questions. You will have short two mark questions, you will have four mark questions, you will have eight mark questions, and of course there will also be a 15 mark question. So why should you pick sociology as a subject to study at GCSE? Well, it's designed to foster in you an understanding and critical awareness of the social world around you. You will learn about the importance of various social structures um, in explaining social issues. In order to actually be successful in sociology, you should have an enjoyment for debating and critically analysing various things and phenomena that are going on around you. You should also develop a sociological awareness of the world and be able to think sociologically by applying your experience of the social world to, so that you are able to play a positive, active and informed role in society. Some specific careers in sociology as well, as you can see, there are a range of different careers that you can go into. You could become a lawyer, you could get involved in social work, you could get into human resources, you could become a guidance counsellor, journalism, teaching, various different aspects, the police and probation services as well. Your sociological knowledge will help you apply yourself to a wide range of roles that will ultimately help make society a better place. So sociology trains you to understand the what, how and why questions about human society, really giving you a competitive edge, especially when it comes to jobs. Um, and many different uh, employers will value your strong intellectual background um, and it will enable you to be successful in any career that you pick, um, even if it's business. Other subjects that complement sociology. So sociology is a written-based subject, so if you enjoy writing and you enjoy discussing, then history is another complementary subject, as is English. Geography as well, because we do study demography and how that influences and affects life chances. You will also um, find that media is quite a complementary subject, because we do look at the sociology of media. And of course religious education, because we study the influence of, for example, the role of religion in um, families and households. So, sociology at university is a highly valued subject. For example, the University of Oxford has classified sociology through its research as second in the world and first in the UK and Europe. Cambridge University um, specifically features the Department of Sociology and that is the world leading centre for teaching and research. It's also been consistently ranked first in UK lead tables. There are various universities that you can study sociology at and of course the Russell Group universities have the courses available to you. Here are some of the comments from our students in year 10 and year 11 who are currently doing GCSE Sociology. I hope that you take the time to read these comments so you can get an idea of what they say about the subject and I really hope that you pick this subject and I look forward to teaching you in September.